Hello everyone. The Tunisian Prime Minister has been meeting coalition partners as he tries to win support for a technocrat government. It's part of Hamdi Jabali's plan to ease tension in the country following the killing of a prominent leftist politician. Speaking to Al Jazeera, he explained the reasons behind his decision. I insisted on the initiative because there was a political vacuum on the horizon. There is no other initiative, especially after the assassination of Shukri Bilay. I can't be the prime minister of the country and see it slip towards violence. That's why the initiative was the only option I had before me. I hope I can convince my party and others to accept it. If I fail, then this is the nature of democracy. And the country will opt to form a broader government, which I hope it will get the approval of the assembly and Tunisians. So far, the ruling party is refusing to back his plan, but thousands of demonstrators rallied in the capital as a show of support for the Anatha party. John Hull was there for us. On the capital's main thoroughfare, thousands gathered in support of Tunisia's ruling party. This was a warning, the crowd was told, to those who sought to dissolve the government. We won a democratic election, said this official, but we are not afraid to go back to the streets. The moderate Islamic Enava party won elections in 2011. It shares power with two secular parties in a coalition that has been a model of democratic transition in the region. Until now. Wednesday's apparently political murder of liberal opponent Shokri Belaid and the Prime Minister's decision to form a caretaker government of non-politicians in response have divided the country and the party. Huge crowds turned out in support of opposition groups at Friday's funeral. This is a rally that appears to show division in a country that up to now has been proud of its unity. It's a rally in support of the ruling party, but against its own prime minister. In support of the government, but against the other parties that make up the coalition. It's a rally that appears to demonstrate very vocally the growing divide between religious and secular. <laughs> Nahda is a tolerant party because it has put aside the question of imposing Sharia law and women's rights. Another's priority is to further the interests of the people. The message to leftist opposition parties is dégagé, get out. But the ruling party, this crowd insists, isn't going anywhere. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, Tunis.